Hello everyone and welcome to Sunburned Albino Plays Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. I'm going to press the A button right now. Alright, I've got my dog with me this time. Hopefully, she will not ever disrupt the video process. Although, my mother is going to come home from the store and my dog always barks when the door is open. So, there will probably be a disruption that I should have thought about before I let her in here. Oh well, what can you say? Gotta do things on the fly here. Oh my, if it isn't young Prince Serene's. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nelucci, you're looking well. And feeling well too, thank you very much. This old crow's as spry as ever. <laughs> Tell me though, how fares your father, King Lorazai? Same as ever. Since that terrible day, he remains abed. He seldom rises anymore. Mm, I'm not surprised. In the span of a few days, he lost his family, his friends, and almost all of his countrymen. Yes. And yet we're blessed that you are still with us. Prince Rayson, if there's anything this doddering old bird can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you. I appreciate your kind sentiment. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Rayson. Nelucci, you can talk ancient history later. Leave us at once. Yes, yes, of course. I'm sure you've much to talk about, much to say. I'll just take my leave of you. Please, Prince Rayson, make yourself at home. <laughs> Old Nelucci's always been fond of House Serene's. When he heard the White Prince himself was gracing us with a visit, he could barely contain his joy. So, Prince, what's this all about? We haven't seen your face around here in a long time, and I'm naturally quite curious as to your intentions. Your attitude during the Goldilwa meeting piqued my interest. What is it you're after, Nazala? Why do you provoke T-Barn? You came all this way for that? Are you serious? Do not mock me, Crow King. T-Barn is my father's guardian. If not for him, we might have suffered the end of House Serene's itself. I will not brook any insults to him. Oh, I see. So rather than ally yourself with me, your trusted companion of old, you would side with this new protector. That's an unfortunate shift in attitude. I trust you remember that when you and your sister were young, it was I, and not T-Barn, who watched over you. Any change in my bearing can be laid at your roost, Nazala. After all, you, my old friend, are the one who continues to engage in commerce with my enemy, with humans. If you were to change your ways, I'm sure we could rebuild the relationship the two of us once shared. Oh no, that I could never do. You see, humans are essential to the fulfillment of my ambitions. You've changed, Nazala. If this is the path, you've, the path you've chosen, I have nothing left to say. I doubt you could ever understand what it means to guard Kilvis Prince, to protect an entire country. King Nazala, Duke Tannis of the Begnian Imperial Senate has arrived. Bring him in. Your Majesty, j just now, I brushed against the most splendid specimen. Was that a Serene's noble? They're supposed to be extinct. And what if it were? Oh, I was right, wonderful. My eyes did not deceive me. Those dazzling white wings and that shimmering hair sparkling like falling gold dust. That is the crystallization of beauty in its purest form. Duke Oliver, can we please discuss the business at hand? Per your request, we have appropriated several pieces of art from the ships of Duke Gados. Yes, yes, and you will be compensated as promised. But right now there is something else that I simply must have. Really? Another request? What can we purloin for you today? More art, perhaps? Oh, something much more stunning. And if you agree to my proposition, I will double your normal fee. That is a most generous offer. Tell me, what is it you desire? Desire? But surely you've already guessed? <laughs> uh, that's always fun. That is. Okay. Meeting with the Apostle was fine, but all she did was pay us and give us another job. She answered no questions. I wonder what she's planning. That cargo. I can't help but believe that there were living creatures inside, but... What do you suppose the Apostle intends to do with them? I don't know. Titania are all nobles and royals like this. They have plans and paperwork for every little thing, and their speech is as confusing as it is tedious. But Ike, the other nobles we know are different. There's Princess Alincia and King Gallia, and the Dragon Prince, too. All of them have been so nice and friendly and easy to talk to. Perhaps the rudeness of the upper echelon is unique to the Bjork class system. Princess Alincia was raised in special circumstances. Maybe that's why she's so different. Bah! I could never get accustomed to the culture of Bjork nobles. I come here to report the results from the last battle. 
Earned 10,000 gold for that for that easy ass job, so that's great. I have I should spend more gold. I haven't been buying like anything. Combat XP 1075. MVP Nephany. I would have said Marsha, but uh, Nephany is good too. So, all right. We suffered no casualties and no one was seriously injured. Everyone was at their best. That concludes my report. Excuse me. All right, let's outfit. Maybe we should like forge a weapon or something. I don't know. We don't need any of these. And we don't need to talk to Makalov either. Okay, support. Uh, does anybody have an A? I wouldn't think so. Alright, that's it then. Uh, okay, outfit. I can still find... Alright, we can uh, get the Laga's Lance out of there. We should probably restock everybody's health. Like, vulnerary situations. Oh, what I do need to do is buy staves for uh, Soren and, uh, and Ilyana. Yeah, that chaplain's still fine. Absolutely need that spirit dust. Oh. Oh, did I give everything? Oh, well, I mean, I did want... He I'm never going to use him, so it's that's fine. It doesn't matter. What about, what about anything else? Your night ward could be useful to one of my paladins. So I might just have to do that. Uh, we are going to have to use one of these people, either Leith or Mordecai, because they're essential to getting uh, Stefan, the Swordmaster, who is the greatest Swordmaster in all the land. And, uh, yeah, we'll have to... Oh! That's... Okay, yeah. Okay, shop. Uh, shop is where we buy... These are D, right? Yeah. Okay, so they can only use heal staffs, not men's. So give that to Ilyana. And then you have restore as well. A staff that restores a unit to normal condition. Oh, let's not drop my controller on the ground. Well, that was embarrassing. I almost bought a Volnerary. Uh, one second here. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, that was. I had to send a quick text to my mom to make sure that she got the best root beer for the house here. Ross Bow, you're still gonna be fine. Did you get to. No, you're still a D. I really am gonna have to give you the energy drop. It's kind of sad. But it is kind of best to save these things for Ike at the end when he needs to be at his best to fight the Black Knight, so. What I know he doesn't need is more magic. Uh, but you could use more magic. We will give you the spirit dust. Use it and enjoy it. Magic plus two. Great. We've got two secret books. And honestly... Skill 14. Honestly, I want to give one to Nephany. Because... She seems to be falling behind in that regard. Uh, what about Zhark? What do your stats look like? They're fine, you're fine. As fine as can be expected. Uh... Let's just call that good for now. Uh, what are we gonna have for experience, though? We... 15... Is anybody under 15? I don't think so. Except Volk. Let's level up Volk. Get him up to par. His stats are making it look like he could be a very, very useful assassin. So let's just get him up there with everybody else. Yeah, I mean, look at, like, if that stuff keeps happening, you're on the fast track to greatness. Yeah? Yeah? Alright. Yeah, 100 more. And then we'll give the rest to Zhark because now he's the least experienced unit on our squad here. Oh my god. Volk, you're so fantastic. If you were like any other class, you'd be like one of the strongest. But since you wield a knife, which does, you know, awful damage. Maybe we can buy daggers at this point. I'll, I'll, 
I'll go back and look. So let's give Z Hard that. It might be too early. That's pretty good, even though I would have preferred strength instead of magic, of course. Okay, so let me just see if we can buy a dagger. Or what we could do is we could forge a knife for him. If that is that even possible? Is that one of the things? Sword axe, but nope, you can't forge like a dagger. That sucks. He could, he could really use that. That is unfortunate. But yeah, nobody else needs a forged weapon. I know it's since we have a shit ton of gold that we should be doing it. I don't know. I just it's just not one of those things that really appeals to me for some reason. I don't think there's anything else that we need. Did I, I, I just saved. Okay, so let's leave the base. Tell me, Soren, are you alright? Hmm? Recently, ever since we reached Begneon, in fact, you seem depressed. Is... is that so? How odd. Well, I can think of nothing specific that's bothering me. Well, if you say so. So it's time for the desert. Which is the best direction to enter from? Soren? Uh, yes? What is it? All right, I know there's something going on. I, I'm sorry, I was thinking. What is it you wanted? Well, I was going to ask you for directions, but it's no longer necessary. It looks like we're being met. Ah! Who are you? Answer me! We're mercenaries. We were hired to take care of a group of bandits operating in this area. More of the Senator's dogs. You cast us as thieves so you can murder us and hide your guilt, but we will not be defeated. Mark my words, the day will come when all slaves are free, and then you will pay for your crimes. What on earth are you talking about? No more useless words. Come, my brothers, take them. Alright, this is an all lagos fight, basically. What? We're facing lagos? I don't like the look of this. Lagos or no, it doesn't change the fact that they are brigands. Do not lower your guard. I know what I'm doing. Everyone, wash your footing in this sand. Take care and fight well. Alright. Luck 8 is kind of poor for someone thief-ish. But I know that's where I put you, and then you move down and all the way to the left, and you will find yourself in a place where you'll pick up... Yeah, because in the sand here... Wow, we can actually take a lot of people. And I don't want to take a lot of people. Uh, you three are toast. Oscar is going to be kind of useless because he's mounted, but there's no one I'd put in instead of him. Oh, except for Lethar Mordecai, that's right. Okay, so yeah, we need Mordecai. Because he's stronger, so I... I feel like he'll be more durable than Leith will be. And uh, that seems fine with me here. Since, since, we ha since we just put staves on our sages, we don't need Riss anymore either. And some of you might be saying, well, why don't you just, like, even... Why don't you just have... I mean, you can have more people. Why don't you just let them come along because the reason for that is because you know it's just more people to watch out for that could die easier than other people so that is those are my feelings on that subject yeah we'll have Soren go that way we'll put Marsha here Oh, nobody's up front. Oh, uh, well, then you go up front. Then you go up one. That seems good enough to me. We're gonna have to move Mordecai to, like, the upper right part of the map. There's, like, a certain square he's supposed to stand on. I cannot imagine how anybody figured that out without, like, someone who made the game telling them about it. But yeah, he has to stand on, like, one of these squares. And I've actually forgotten which square it is, so that's probably gonna be something that takes a little while for me. Uh, but, uh, in any case... 
All right, well, what I can either have him go here where he'll pick up an item, or I can just, I'll just remember that for later. Because I do want these, these guys are obviously much easier to kill when they're not in beast form. And so we'll take advantage of, the, of that. Good, Volk, good. Level 17. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be a really great assassin, I can feel it. Or maybe I'll just move Soren. This is the square. And yet it didn't have it. It has to do with the amount of luck that your units have. They will find items in the sand if you stand in particular squares. And I wish that I had, like, a map of which squares, you know, are for what. But unfortunately I don't, even though I am quite sure that such a map does exist. So I probably should have prepared that, or looked, so I'm not messing up on anything. Or I'm not missing stuff. 16, 6. Okay, so you'll transform next turn, because they gain 4 each turn. So I'll move here, and then I can kill this guy next turn with, with her. And then we'll have people with Laga Slayers go this way as well. Mordecai also has to go this way. Their movement range obviously increases when they're in beast form. Uh, mages do not suffer a sand penalty, and neither do neither does Volk, and neither does Flyers, obviously. But yeah, we'll bring Ileana over here as well. Although I really don't think we're going to need that many people. Let's move Ileana up. Are you at... Oh, you're at 12, so you'll transform next time. Let's just move you up over here. And then you can move up as well and equip an iron sword. See, there's a coin. I just picked up a coin. I mean, that is not very valuable within itself, but there are more valuable items. And yeah, mounted units can move hardly anything at all. So yeah, everybody's gauges are in different places, so they'll all transform at different times. Oh, shit. Volk's stats are good enough that I... Wow! Nice! Ho-ho! Volk can hold his own. That's incredible. I mean, lucky critical hit, but still. And now he's even better. I don't know what these people hope to accomplish. Uh, he has surpassed Zhark pretty much immediately. Alright, so we can attack you. We will attack twice, but you do a pretty good amount of damage. If you attack someone out of beast form, they will gain... They'll gain, like, two to their counter. Which means that this guy will not transform even if I attack him. Speed 19, good. Making sure. How about we just weaken you? I'd rather be in range of the guy next turn to be able to steal Lance him, and then that'll take him out in one hit. Or in one turn. Uh, but yeah, your speed is maximum now, isn't it? So let's move you over here. Yep, that's as high as uh, your speed can go, because all stats max out at 20. And uh, we can take out you... But not quite, but we might as well, and then Volt can finish it off. Unless, of course, you miss those tags. Good, weapon finally leveled up. So now it's D. That's good. You can finally wield steel stuff. And you have the stats to be able to. Oh, before we do that... Heal Volk. Yeah. Uh, sages with staves are way more effective than priests. I could steal your Vulnerary for, like, 10, but uh, that seems pointless. Because I don't need Vulneraries. If you were holding, like, gems or something valuable, then I would absolutely take a turn to do it. In fact, I should... Let's do an inventory search. Vulnerary, Demiband... You can't steal equipped items, unfortunately. 
Vulnerary. Vulnerary. Vulner okay, so that's everybody, and nothing has any no one has anything of value. That's unfortunate, but uh What can you do? You will not spawn. You'll try and attack Ilyana if I go up there. But Ilyana can hold her own against one crow, I would assume. It might hurt, but... And then you can't get her either. Yeah, let's have you do this. Goodbye. Uh, some of the items in the sand that I remember are boots, which increase movement by two spaces, which is very valuable for somebody. Uh, I usually give it to Volk so he can, like, you know, sprint from chest to chest. And then... Okay, you can move there. You can't attack yet. And then there's some kind of staff. Wow, I really don't remember a lot, do I? Now you might as well wield the bow. Then you can move up a little as well. Marsha might change class this turn. This actually, I can't imagine her not changing class this chapter. I thought you might do that, so I had Boyd be a little decoy there. I would rather kill people without damage to my units. Still not fast enough to attack twice, but twelve, eight, eighteen, sixteen. You two will transform. You two will not. Let's move you over here. You, we'll just we'll just pull up the left side to here. You should be fine as well. Uh, is this is an insta kill. No, it isn't. Okay, good. Okay, it is. What do you know? Good job, Oscar. Nice critical hit. God damn it. All right, you'll stay there. You can axe people. You will still not, uh... Oh, but I can get you. Might as well do that. Yeah, I like it. All you need is to keep leveling up speed with those with those other attributes, and uh, you're fine. You will not change class next turn. I want Zhark to kill somebody. One, two, three. One, two, two, three. Fuck! You'll still not be in range by the time he shifts forms. So I think what we'll do is have you stay there. If I attack him with Marsha now. He will turn into Lagos on the next turn. But that might be okay, because I'll still attack twice. He'll just do a lot of damage. I think it's fine. Well, that makes it a little less fine, but, uh... Let's see, Rock... Shit, you're going to be able to attack, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can they move six? There's a way to test. Movement nine. Oh, but just let me look at his movement allowance. Oh, you dick. I can't tell if this is safe or not. Well, if I move up here, I could be attacked by both of these guys. Okay, well, let me look at a crow. Nobody's got a crow. Fantastic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. B 
because I've moved twice. So yeah, if I move here, they'll both be able to attack me. I think it is obviously much better for me to stay right here. It'll hurt, but it's something that needs to be done, I think. Let's not put you in harm's way. Let's put you, like, here. Then you can move up as well. I wonder if we'll find anything in this hand. I know the boots are around where Boyd is. So I'll probably just sort of, like, walk around it until I find them. Because those are things that I absolutely need. Ouch. But you won't attack twice, so I'll be fine. Nice miss there. I should have put her in a place where ZR could finish the guy off, but unfortunately that appears to not have been the case. Well, if Marsha changes class, uh, that's that gives her back full health, so it looks like we have to do this. If I miss an 87% chance to hit, I'll die. Do you have any idea how nerve-wracking that is? Which is why I'm not going to do it. Oh, God. Luckily, I can attack with the javelin and then move far enough away that if I do miss... Oh, good, I didn't. All right. I would still have been out of his range, so that's good. All right, class change, get all your health back. That's really the most what I want from that. Alright, we've got ourselves a Falcon Knight. Uh, the stat increases aren't very good, to be honest with you, but... Still, still, you know? We have a, we have a Falcon Knight, it's, fant it's pretty good. And actually, I think Falcon Knight's uh, occult skill is really, really good. I don't remember what it is, but I am pretty sure that it is very good. I guess we'll see. Uh, you can barely not attack, or would not reach him. Alright, so Mordecai moves up here. He's going to, uh... Shit, I should have pushed Zihark in the way of that. Uh, but oh well. Okay, well, Eliana does not need to be over there. Just put her around there. These guys are all there, so, uh... Yeah, Boyd should be fine there. Should be fine there. You're not going to uh, change class on the next turn. Alright. And I could get you. Could these guys reach? That guy can. That guy cannot. That guy cannot. That guy cannot. But you'll change class on the next turn and you'll be able to kill me. And that is a problem. I'll... Okay. Strength 7... You're a cat, aren't you? Yeah, you're a cat, so you're just going to be one of these guys. Attack 21. Let's just assume that you have the same strength as this guy does. Attack 21. Defense, 9. So that'll be... 13 damage that you do to me, which will leave me... with 18 health? So that'll be 13 plus 13... Volk will not die if I have him attack this guy and kill him. But also, this guy won't die if I have Volk attack him. But he also will not be able to change class on the next turn. I think this is still fine to do. Maybe I get a critical hit, you know? I think it'll be fine. And that's assuming that both these guys even hit me. That's how much uh, health I will lose. So yeah, that moved it up to 14. It'll go up by four more next turn. We're gonna be fine. And this guy... And so these two guys will be able to attack. And I think what I need to do is give them a target that they can't pass up. Which I... would make Rolf. So that should be what you do. Plus, I Volk has Shade, so this guy should not attack him. 
You'll do that, and then we'll put Soren like behind you. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Ouch. But, uh, you know, he can take it. And then you, I don't know why you, well, yeah, Shade, right? Okay, and then Nephany can take you out. And then Oscar will kill you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Oscar's speed is not what I thought it was. Okay, yeah, of course, that you would move away so that uh, you're protected by these two guys over here. Although, I don't think these guys move. I know you don't move, but I don't think these guys move either. But also, I'm not going to risk anyone's life over that, because that has worked out negatively for me in the past. Damn it. I wanted Rolf to have that one. But you just had to get adept and attack twice, you fucking show off. Assuming Rolf even had, like, the strength to be able to finish him off at that point, which I doubt. But he might have had the speed. There's more speed, thank you. Good, 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 good. No, he did not have the speed. I forgot that Rolf is not that fast. We will kill you. Maybe I should have had Rolf attack that guy, since he probably wouldn't die, and that would be more experience for him. But that, thank you, strength. Okay. That makes me feel a little better about not giving you an energy drop yet, at this point. Alright, now let's do this again. If these two guys attack me... Attack 27, attack 27, defense 9. That equals... 18. Both those guys... Okay, they will kill me if both of them hit me. And that is not a risk that I want to take. You know, Shade works sometimes, but it's not the most reliable skill, let's put it that way. Let's have you javelin and weaken this guy a little bit for Z-Hark. Nice miss. I really needed you to not miss that shot. Because now I can't kill him in one hit, and this is risky for me. What about you? Can you help out? He'll attack twice. I'm fine with that. I don't care. Go ahead. Mordecai's got the HP to tank it. Yeah, good for you. Don't miss both of these, I guess. That's what I would say. Good job. Hopefully I can have you kill the crow, too. Good. Yeah, your speed is maximum, isn't it? I would just need your strength to go up by those loop, same leaps and bounds, and we'll be in a good spot. Uh, you've got a vulnerary. Uh, this guy is going to re is going to turn into something next turn. And then he'll probably be able to attack Nephany. Are you? You're a cat, so that's fine. You're both. You two are both cats, and not tigers. Okay, so we'll have Volk. We'll have Volk, like, here. That way, if anybody wants to attack him, it's only the one guy. And that'll be fine. And we'll move Rolf over here and use a Vulnerary. And then I guess this guy is for one of these guys. Oh, no, Ilyana can take him out, so I'd prefer that. You know, I'm treating Oscar and Boyd like Titania at this point, but, you know, they do still need to level up. By the time everybody's class changes, I'll be less uh, worried about that kind of stuff. We might as well have Ike kill this guy. Why not? You know, chapter 16 is right around the corner. It's literally the next chapter. And that's when you'll change class, so I guess we should prepare you for that. And then... You can't reach him. I didn't think so. 
Let's look for the boots while we're waiting. They've got, they're around there, and they're at the bottom part. Oh, that's dickish of you. Now there's no way I can kill you. I don't understand how I can attack twice here. Also, is my def wow, my defense really is that bad. Uh, Ike is going to need the Draco shields. And uh, I will absolutely be good with providing them. Alright, so we'll move you into the path of Mr. Crow here. You can... Oh, you can attack Marsha, so that's why that happened. Alright. Well, that's good. That makes me feel better. I don't think flying units can pick up items off the sand. Which kind of sucks, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so we'll have, uh... Soren heal Nephany, and then we'll have Nephany stand in the path of this guy, but none of the other guys. So then the other ones won't be able to reach him. Or her, I mean. And then uh, Volk will stand here. Even though the cat probably will not attack him, he will probably choose to use the Vulnerary again. But then we'll move Rolf. And hopefully we'll be able to have a good line of defense to be able to kill whoever tries to attack them. Damn it. Ah, do it. I can finish it off and he'll be level 20. And then we will have him kill no more people. There's boots. Wow, I did not know that they were there, or in that position. There's something else here. I'm gonna find it. Nice miss, good job. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Ah, ha, ha. And yeah, goodbye. I like the stuff that's going on so far. And even more so now that that just happened. Fantastic. Oh, good. Nobody's lagging behind in stats. Okay. That was a lucky miss in that case. You can attack Volk if I were to do that. But I would be fine with that. We'll have Nephany do this, and then Soren will just heal her immediately. Yeah, ouch. Guess the increased critical hit chance did not pan out, but that's okay. Actually... Let's have Rolf kill him. And then we'll have Volk stand in front of Rolf. Good, good. Yeah, I think this will work out. Because that cat is in no way going to be able to reach Volk. And probably still won't even attack. Probably use that last vulnerary. Seriously, no luck with the stuff that's buried over here. Okay, I think this might be the square. It is not. Well, that sucks. Uh, maybe this is a square that has something. No. Nope. And maybe this is a square that has something? Of course not. Ouch. Volk can hold his own, don't you underestimate him. He's level 19 already. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you are great. You are. Yeah, I thought you might be doing that. 
So that's fine. That works for me. I have a 100% chance to hit, right? Yes, I do. Oh, I could steal nothing. Okay, you don't have anything for me to steal. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, and then Rolf can mop it up, or we could have Vol Volk do it. Oh, you're out! Oh, you are out of beast juice. That's unfortunate. That sounds actually nasty, but, uh... Yeah, okay. Uh... Yeah, I think it's... No, Rolf... Yeah, we'll... Okay. We'll do it with Volk. The reason is... Because since Muarim doesn't move, the boss, Muarim, or whatever, yeah, however you pronounce his name, Muarim sounds correct. Uh, we're just gonna post up Rolf, like, on the outskirts here and just chuck arrows at him until he dies, I say. Alright, everybody's in good health, and there's only two enemies left. Let's move you there. Man, I really want these items. And what sucks is that it's not a guarantee even if you land on the right space. Because it has to do with the in unit's luck. I believe this is not the right way. Okay. Uh, well, in any case, Marsha should... We should be off. And we'll just have Zark look for items there. Is it maybe... Here? No. Nothing there either. Nope. Oh, there's something. Okay. Uh, that is mildly advanced light magic, which is kind of useless, but still nice that it happened all the same. And yeah, this guy apparently doesn't want to move anymore, so we'll post ourselves up next to him. Any items around anywhere else? I would just... Maybe there's something even here. You know, like around... These sort of, like, ruins... Is where you'd expect to find stuff. You can't reach him, so that's good. So we'll just have Rolf attack you a bunch of times. What? You're so young. I'm not scared of you. It doesn't matter if you're a Lagas. An enemy is an enemy. Please, stop. Why are young cubs like you on the battlefield? Why? Uh, because Rolf's a damn good archer, that's why. Yeah, let's get you to level 20. Or should we have Volk get to level 20? Interesting proposition. I think we have Volk get to level 20. Goodbye. Nice. <laughs> There's nobody... Okay. Without a doubt, nobody has gotten better level ups than Volk. He's He has the highest stats of anybody level 20. Oh, okay. That's right. Okay, so... Volk cha doesn't change class until he reaches a certain chapter as well. So it was kind of pointless for me to get him there so soon, but... Eh, what are you going to do? I've, I had forgotten about that simple fact, but that's okay. I mean, now we only need to use him to uh, rob chests, and we'll be fine. My companions and I are not thieves. I'm sure you could not care less, though. Oh, <laughs> Oh, you're right about that. But yeah, we'll just have Rolf and Nephany just throw stuff at you until you die. And hopefully, maybe we'll be able to change class with, the, with, that, with that in mind. Yeah, you're definitely going to need str a huge strength boost. And that kind of sucks. That's not where it is either. Oh, 
Oh, we'll just have people move in a line until they find stuff. I like making a chain around this monument. Anything hidden on the caves here? There we go. There you are. Something's here beneath the sand. Nope, I'm over here. So there you are. You are good at hiding. To be praised by one of the beast tribes is an honor. I am Stefan. I live here in this desolate wasteland, playing at being a hermit. Who are you? I haven't seen you in these parts before. I am Mordecai, a warrior of Gallia. This is the first time I have walked beyond the borders of my country. I thought that might be the case. And I was right. Whoo! I'm ever so clever. Mordecai, listen here. I'm interested in the beast tribes of Gallia. Would you mind talking with me? I'll buy dinner. Um, my friends and I are fighting, so I cannot. Sorry. Very well then, I will help you. Once this battle is finished, you'll have time to converse, yes? Alright, if you will fight with us, then I will call Stefan a friend. Later, we will talk about Gallia. I'm looking forward to it. Right then, off we go. Yes, off we go. Right then. Okay, so look at you. First of all, your stats are amazing. Especially since you're only level 8. Uh, second of all, the, vag the vague caddy. A unique sword forged by Master Craftsman. It's powerful but difficult to wield. S-Class sword. Critical hit 35. And the fact that he's a sword master increases his critical hit percentage by 20. His critical hit, his crit chance is 63. He will, he will get critical hits every single time. His avoidance is fucking 60. Nobody's gonna fucking hit him. And he, he's impossible to kill, and he is a killing machine. And he's one of my favorite characters, because he has fucking bright green hair. I mean, that's, that's amazing. I wish I had that hair. I wish I had that entire outfit. Let's, you know, let's not mince words here. Ah. Oh. oh, it's great. Are you holding like a vul I wish you were holding like vul a vulnerary or something. Oh well. Yep, that's gonna be... Let's have Volk check out the left side of this place. And Soren can help out as well. Nothing, huh? But yeah, you make just sort of like a conga line around these sort of monuments and you'll find stuff. It does have to do with people's luck, so sometimes it... Sometimes the wrong person... You know, sometimes you have to step on it three or four times with people. Okay. Nothing still. Well, I think we have Nephany get the kill. Or no. No, we don't, actually. Never mind. Because she's so close already. God damn it. We have Rolf get the kill. He'll be at 7, so that's fine. So Nephany can take one more shot. Let's just end that. I'm done looking for stuff. It was a bad... It was a bad haul, let's put it that way. Okay, good. Good for you. Yeah, you're almost... I can just give you the experience you need to level up. Like, that's pretty much... That's probably what I'm gonna do. But yeah, Rolf will take you out, and then you'll be... Probably on par with Nephany. Or not. You're actually really slow. Your strength better go up, I swear to God. Okay. Alright. God damn it. Oh, there we go. You, you're the leader of this band, aren't you? Yes, I am. It froze for a second, but it corrected itself, so I'm very surprised. I'll resist you no further. Take me with you or execute me here. I care not. But my companions, would you let them go, please? No, I won't allow it. Huh? I won't let you take Moirem. 
Ugh, stay back, little one. You are not supposed to expose. If you want Marim, you'll have to kill me first. You're... Yes, he is a Bjork child. I claimed him when he was little more than an infant. He has nothing to do with us subhumans. Stop lying. I'm here because I want to be. Who is the leader of the Lagos Emancipation Army? I am. You're a big jerk, Marim. Trying to cover for everyone and get yourself killed? I won't allow it. Little one. Hey, I don't care who the real leader is. A Lagos who calls himself a subhuman is protecting a kidnapped Bjork who claims to lead a Lagos Emancipation Army? Do I have that right? Because if I do, I have absolutely no idea what any of you are talking about. Would someone please tell me what is going on here? Alright, please go over that again. It's been customary throughout Begneon's history to keep Lagos as slaves? That's right. But that's in the past now. Twenty years ago, all slavery was outlawed and all Lagos were freed. And as far as the general public is concerned, that is exactly what happened. So there's a portion of society that willingly breaks the law? The commoners obey, but there are still many Lagos slaves in the homes of nobles. Muarim and I brought this to the attention of the senators, but they would not listen. That's why we gathered our fi other fighters. We break into the homes where slaves are kept and help them escape. Of course, the nobles can't let this be known publicly, so they brand us thieves and turn us into wanted outlaws. Alright, I think I understand your motives, but you're not going to solve the basic problem this way. We know that, but we can't give up and leave them in chains. We can't and won't. Do you mind if I try to help? Huh? This sort of Bjork behavior is something that's been bothering me. I think there may be something that I can do. Nazala, stop this foolishness. Where are you taking me? Tell me. It's only a little farther. I'll tell you once we've arrived, just as I promised. I left no word with Tibarn. If I had known we were coming this far, I would have left a message. Here we are. This is what I wanted to show you. Look below you, Rayson. What do you see? What? What is this? How is this possible? What happened here? This is 20 years ago, of course. This is Serene's? Is this what you're trying to tell me? This colorless vista, these cracked and withered branches, these lifeless trees. This is my forest? Latin or some kind of, you know, the Heron language. The ancient tongue. It's been many years since I heard it last. You can still speak it. The voice of the forest is still. Why? How did this... It's been like this since your clan's been gone. The area near the entrance is especially bad. They used fire. Most of the trees are dead. Unforgivable. How... How can they do things like this? Cursed humans, what did this forest do? What did my clan do? Humans hold all lagus in the contempt, and in the same way they hold all of nature in contempt as well. They think everything exists for their pleasure and betterment. They are beneath contempt. Nazala, it appears that I have misjudged you. Oh, this isn't 20 years ago, never mind. I called you a groveling toady to humans and labeled you traitor. I was overly harsh. I apologize. Not to worry. I engage in occasional commerce with humans, that much is true. A more pressing issue is the growing darkness. You can return to Phoenicis tomorrow, can you not? I'm certain that some noble has a villa in this area. At this time of year, it is almost certain to be empty. I suggest we borrow it for the evening. You would sleep in a human building? Think about it. Bird folk like you and I have no night vision whatsoever. If we were discovered by humans, they would surely overwhelm and capture us, right? Hmm, I see your point. Very good. I'll go stumble around until I find something to eat. Please, make yourself comfortable. Nazala! Yes? Thank you, for everything you've done. I, I appreciate it. Don't be ridiculous. We're old friends, are we not? Right you are, old friend. Is everything in place? Yes, that Duke Tennis cannot sit still. He is literally quivering with anticipation. It's not pretty. I bet it isn't. Just make sure that mountain of suit 
stays hidden. Sweat? I don't know, it's a weird word. If Rayson catches so much as a glimpse of his bulk, he will take wing. Understood. Now, time to put on the finishing touches. This too I do to raise up Kilvis. Rayson, please don't judge me too harshly. That being said, I'm sure you will. Ah, well, such is life. Enjoy your new one, old friend. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Left on a cliffhanger. Some some neat little betrayal has gone on. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.